Hello investors and traders. This video will explain the basics of the advanced decline line, more commonly known as the AD line, and how to use this technical indicator in your investing or trading strategy. As usual, one indicator does not make a strategy and should be coupled with other indicators and philosophies. You know the catchphrase, study it, analyze it, adapt it. A brief history. AD data was first calculated and analyzed back in 1926 by Colonel Leonard a Aries, an economist and market analyst at the Cleveland Trust Company. Shortly thereafter, James Hughes pioneered that became known as market breath statistics. In 1931, Barron started to publish AD numbers, which can also be found in its printed publication every week. AD data came into prominence in the early 1960s when prominent investment newsletter publishers began to use it as part of their market analysis. Simply put, the AD line is perhaps the best way to gauge the market's overall health. It's typically used for an entire index like the New York Stock Exchange, Dow Industrial Average, S&P 500, and NASDAQ. In fact, some notable investors say that the weekly AD information is the first data point they look for to help gauge the market sentiment. A closer look. The AD line is market breadth indicator that analyzes the number of stocks advancing minus those that are declining. Positive market breadth occurs when more stocks are advancing than declining, suggesting that the bulls are in control of market's momentum. A bearish momentum would result when there are more declining stocks. It's important to note the AD data is best used when it includes all stocks in a specific index. Many times the the performance of a handful of companies can believe the health of the overall market one way or another. The AD line is most commonly used to plot the difference between the number of advancing and declining stocks on a daily and sometimes weekly basis. When calculating the AD line, the total number of stocks of the underlying index that went higher are added each day while the number of declining stocks are subtracted. The net number is then added to the prior day total creating a running total of advancing minus declining stocks. The AD line is used to determine market sentiment as it tells investors where the majority of stocks in an index are rising or falling. It is used to confirm price trends in major indexes and can also warn of reversals when divergence occurs. For example, if the S&P 500 rising and the AD line is falling, it indicates the current uptrends may be losing its momentum. But if the S&P 500 is falling and the AD line is rising, it suggests the market's move lower may be about to reverse and begin moving up. I want to start by looking at the advanced decline line at extremes. We look at the NASDAQ composite over here and you can see in mid-August it reached a high extreme and as of right now, October 19, 2002, we are somewhat near a lower point. Most indicators, especially these breadth indicators, work very good at extreme levels. We can look at other screenshots of the Russell 1000, which again, looking like at extreme levels at the same price and also at the lower level. So we can also use the AD line when it is at extremes. What does the advanced decline line show? An increasing advanced decline line is bullish because more stocks at the New York Stock Exchange are closing the day with gains, where a decreasing advanced decline line is bearish because more stocks are closing the day with losses. The advanced decline line is a powerful confirmation tool and divergence warning tool. The above chart of the mini Dow future contract of the Dow industry or Dow 30 represents the confirmation divergence signals, high 1 to high 2. The mini Dow future contract made the higher high at high 2. However, the advanced decline line failed to make a new high. In fact, it made a new lower low. At high 2, fewer stocks were participating in the rally. Thus, there was less strength behind the rally in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This failure of the advanced decline line signaled a strong bearish divergence. High 2 to high 3. This is an example of the advanced decline line confirming the trend in the price of the mini Dow future. The mini Dow future made lower highs and likewise the advanced decline ratio made lower highs. Low 1 to low 2. Yet another bearish divergence occurred from low 1 to low 2. The mini Dow futures contract made a higher high and acknowledged a bullish sign. However, the advanced decline line did not confirm the mini Dow futures 
ascent. In fact, during the entire rally of the mini Dow from low one to low two, the advanced decline line was making lower lows. This bearish diversion signal that the stock investors, index future traders should be wary of recent increases. The market as a whole is not behind the recent move higher. In conclusion, the advanced decline line is a very effective tool to, to confirm price action in stocks and stock indexes as well as signaling potential reverses or weak price moves. Takeaways. The advanced decline line is a breath indicator used to show how many stocks are participating in a stock market rally or decline. When a major indexes are rallying, a rising AD line confirms the uptrend showing strong participation. If major indexes are rallying and the AD line is falling, it shows that fewer stocks are participating in the rally, which means the index could be nearing the end of its rally. When major indexes are declining, a falling advanced decline line confirms the downtrend. If major indexes are declining and the AD line is rising, fewer stocks are declining over time, which means that the index may be near the end of its decline. What does the AD line tell you? The AD line is used to confirm the strength of a current trend and its likelihood of reversing. The indicator shows if the majority of stocks are participating in the direction of the market. If the indexes are moving up but the AD line is sloping downwards, called bearish divergence, it's a sign that the markets are losing their breath and may be about to reverse direction. If the slope of the AD line is up and the market is trending upwards and the market is said to be healthy. Conversely, if the indexes are continuing to move lower and the AD line has turned upwards, called bullish divergence, it may be indication that sellers are losing their conviction. If the AD line and the markets are both trending lower together, there's a greater chance that the declining prices will continue. Detecting divergences. Divergences is a disagreement between the stock price index and the AD line and can result in significant implications for investment management. If the index moves up while the AD line moves down, the index may be misleading about the true direction of the overall market. Such negative divergences has occurred at major market turning points such as the end of the Roaring Twenties bull market and during 1972 at the height of the Nifty 50 market. However, the most notable was just prior to the 2008 bear market. Identifying divergences can help investors recognize and react appropriately to change in price action. It tells us something is changing and investors must decide if they want to take some risk off the table. Seeing divergences increase profitability of protecting your investment gains. Interpret the advanced decline line. The advanced decline line shows the level of participation in the overall advance or decline of the stocks. When the AD line starts to rise and more importantly posts an extreme high, it signals that the overall participation in the stocks is bullish and signals a continuation in advancing stocks. On the other hand, when the advanced decline line starts to post a new extreme low, it is a signal that the overall participation is bearish. Based on the AD line, traders can time their entry into a trade by determining the trends. Typically, it is not recommended to buy when the AD line is falling. However, market bottoms often coincide when the AD line starts to post a bottom and begins to rise, especially at extreme levels. By comparing the level of participation, traders can also potentially identify false market signals. For example, if you notice a stock was making a new high but the advanced decline line was not confirming the market participation, it can be a sign that the stock's likely to correct from the highs. This is also referred to as divergence to price and can be a great way to use the advanced decline line as it means to confirm validate trading signals. Traders should note that the use of advanced decline lines on its own does not offer much value as other factors such as fundamentals, the trend of the security needs to be taken into consideration as well. The advanced decline line is not a single indicator. It is not a black box. It must be coupled with other indicators. How can you see the advanced in decline index line? The advanced decline index line can be used in many different ways, but there are three common uses of the indicator. The AD line is used confirming indication to validate the strength and also to ascertain the possibility of a reversal or trend correction. The AD line can be used to confirm market tops based on increasing or decreasing market participation. When a stock posts high but the AD line is not confirming this high market participation, it signals that the highs in securities are coming off from just a few market participation and therefore increases the likelihood of a correction from the top. 
technical traders will find the AD line can be used as an indicator to confirm support or resistance levels. Look at these methods in more detail when analyzing stocks. How to use the AD line to confirm strength strength. The advanced decline index can be used in conjunction with the trend indicators such as the moving average or Bollinger Bands. Here the AD line can be used to confirm the dips in prices. For example, when a security is trading near the 50 period EMA and the AD line can be used to check if there will be a reversal in price. This also occurs when the AD line is near the lows and starts to rise higher and this concedes with a local low in price. Finding market turning points using AD line. Besides using the AD line indicated as a tool to time the reversals or corrections in a trend and determining the strength of the trends, divergence can also be used. More importantly, the concept of reverse or hidden divergence can be applied to security as well as the AD line. Using the AD line index to identify support and resistance. For traders who find it difficult to spot support and resistance levels on the chart, the AD line index is a great way to understand and spot these pr key price levels. The chart below shows how the turning points in the AD line index are used to validate the highs or lows in the price of the security. Following this plotting or horizontal line, one can look at the future price action interacts with these levels. By looking at the value of the AD line index relative to the support or resistance level, a trader understood when there is an increase in stock participation and this signals a reversal from support level. Conversely, traders can also look at previous resistance levels or support levels and compare whether the AD line index is signaling decreased participation. This could potentially signal a reversal in the price of a security. AD line index to identify support and resistance level. Traders can also simply discard the AD line index after the support and resistance levels are identified and then switch back to their preferred trading system to trade based on these levels. To summarize, the advanced decline line can be used to measure market breadth by comparing the advanced and declining indexes based on a basic stocks or exchange. It is better to measure the market strength of the AD line takes into consideration the broader list of stocks from the exchange compared to just the main indexes as the Dow Jones Industrial or the S&P 500. The AD line index is commonly used in market breadth indicators as the arms index, the AD ratio line, and so on. The advanced decline line is used by technical analysis to determine the market participation when a security is making a new high. Usually, market tops with lower participation can signal weakness in the security. A rising advanced decline line off an extreme value or a falling advanced decline line from an extreme value can signal rising or falling market participation. Based on this, the trader can determine when to enter a trade. The advanced decline line can be used by day traders as well as long-term technical traders as it can help to identify potential trading operations. Technical analysis tools should be used in isolation because they all have limitations and the AD line is no different. For example, the AD line does not weigh the exact percentage a stock move, only that it is an advance or decline. Therefore, a stock could set a record for the most value lost by a stock in a single day, but the AD line will only see the day as a decline, giving it the same weight as if another stock dropped only one basis point or 0.1% line is relative. It all comes down to the difference in the daily change in the price and the number of positive and negative days that occur. A stock may see more positive than negative days, but the stock could move more on the down days, which would lead to an overall positive breadth contribution of the stock that it was in a downtrend. Critics of the AD line as it applies to the New York Stock Exchange argue that today's version of the index is tainted. A large part of the index is now composed of bond-related closed-end funds that have a positive basis, but I don't believe the argument is valid. Sometimes the bond closed-end funds can prove to be a better indicator of the stock market direction than the stocks themselves. You want a tool that gives you a different answer from what the price is saying, otherwise the entire exercise is pointless. That is why the AD line can be misperceived just because a stock provides a positive contribution to the indicator doesn't mean that's in a healthy uptrend as one may believe based on the reading of the breadth gauge is showing. A complementary tool. AD line can tell you a lot about the state of a specific market or a particular industry for example when an index is ascending even as the AD line is descending. It's likely that the relative few stocks are contributing to the growth 
which would signal that a market is vulnerable to a correction. That was certainly the case with the New York Stock Exchange Composite Index in the months leading up to the 2008 bear market. Even if the two lines were to diverge dramatically, investors would be wise to avoid discussions based in the AD line alone. When an AD line starts to fade, I view it as an opportunity to be more cautious. You might cut back on your exposure of stocks a bit, but don't use it as a sole argument for the existing market altogether. Thoughts. Investors who are constantly on the search for the holy grail of investing indicators or a get-rich trading system will always be left disappointed. Why? Because it simply doesn't exist. However, you can use technical tools such as the AD line to give you a general sense of the current market environment. Oftentimes, the AD line is plotted over top or below securities price and is commonly used in a histogram of advance and declines below it. Using the two indicators, investors can see whether a trend is gaining or losing momentum. Since the AD line does not take into account the magnitude of daily changes in the price of an underlying stock, a lack of bearish divergence in a single indicator is not necessarily reflective of a positive confirmation of an uptrend. A stock can be a downtrend while still possibly contributing to a market breadth blunting the usefulness of a perceived breadth confirmation by the AD line. This is why I personally feel divergence in the AD line are much more useful than the confirmation of an underlying trend. It's my belief that the use of multiple pieces of data is important in applying an analysis to a market and specifically the evaluation of a trend participation. We can be much more confident if multiple breadth gauges are pointing to the same conclusion as a rising AD line, an uptrend in new 52-week highs, more stocks rising above their long-term moving average, etc. The bottom line, an index's AD line can help you gauge the overall market health of an industry, but it shouldn't be the only metric you consider. This AD line works in a variety of different markets. It is a very powerful indicator, but should not be used as a standalone indicator, but coupled with other indicators to use a weight of evidence. One indicator does not make a successful system. Please watch some of our other videos, MACD, RSI, Top Down, etc., to combine these indicators to make a rule-based strategy. There are many interpretations of how to use the AD line. So please, study the AD line, analyze it, adapt it, and peace.